brother record recorded the whole project at death row didn't he yeah well, it was a group project he got signed as a so well he got signed well okay so me and him got signed as a well as a group right just me and him they signed nini separately and they signed bolo and big y separately like i don't know how bolo and big y got their deal i don't know how nini got her deal i just know about like me and my brother so um like, like another thing, you know, like when we were doing a bang on wax, everybody had fell out with each other. You know what I'm saying? It was just like conflict on conflict. So by the time we got to death row, we wasn't even, we wasn't even getting along with them dudes. So we just eventually ended up on the same label. Like again, like what the hell? So, um, yeah, she was just signed us all individually, but it was really from what, you don't know, it could be a rumor. I don't know, but from what I, we heard, it was really to, to, to quiet us down. He wanted to shelve us and quiet us down because we was making too much noise on the streets. So he wanted his artists to shine and get they just do. Wow. Okay. So that's what, what was told to us through some death row affiliates. And, you know, so I don't know if it's true. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But he never put us out. You know, we, we recorded a lot of songs and, you know, we never got on no soundtrack. We just promised to get on soundtracks and all kinds of stuff. But, it never happened, so we just kept on grinding the music, and trying to you know do our own thing. Eventually, mm. the last thing I want to talk about before we uh, wrap it up is uh, fast forward to two thousand six. You appeared on Rep Your Set. Um, Rep Your Set mm. is a compilation album by Reputable Records. It involves several uh, B's and C's. I remember the CD, and I think it even came with the DVD also. But what can you tell us about that project? Okay, so that project it was gonna it was it was it was like an extension for banging on wax, but they could not use banging on wax um, name or likeness. You know what I'm saying? So they want to call it Reptile Set, but this time they're like, y'all can't diss, ain't gonna be no diss, and you know we want to um, y'all just to rep y'all neighborhood, just and then we're gonna do a documentary where we're gonna come to y'all neighborhood and see you know with y'all hanging out and all this and this and that. So we're like, all right, well, and at that time. I wasn't doing no gang bang music, nothing like after Bang on Wax, I really kind of stopped doing like gang bang and shit. Like, cause I'm, you know, eventually, you know, I heard everybody was like, oh, we used to do drive by to y'all music. And, you know, the homies started, started the hood out here. You know, we heard all, we used to hear all that, all that type of stuff, you know, and then I would, I would go to jail and, you know, niggas be telling me all their stories about the type of things they used to do to our music. And I was like, damn. You know, I didn't think it was going to be like that, but it is what it is, you know. Um, so, uh, like, what was your question again? I'm, the rep you said, just that whole time, you know. Oh, yeah, we just told, yeah. So they just wanted to, to do another project and see if we can um, get that momentum back. But um, somebody leaked the project, and, you know, we had, like, real real uh, producers on their nephew, and, um what was the name of the cast? There's a few other cats, but yeah, we had we had some real uh, production on that album, and somebody leaked it, and you know, at that time, you can, um, you know, that's when people was copying CDs and making a bunch of CDs, so people just the streets just it flooded the streets, you know, on bootleg copies, so it just it yeah. it you know yeah. it went where it went. Yeah, you know, um, before we uh, wrap it up, what are some common misconceptions or falsehoods? that you hear a lot when it comes to banging on wax and you don't have to call anyone out or anything, but what are some, what are yeah, few yeah, things no, no, about no. banging on wax that you hear that just don't quite add up that you would like to square away? You know, uh, people saying it, uh, or it was fake gang members and shit. It's like everybody, a part that was a part of banging on wax. One that I was a part of, everybody was really, was from the hoods. They ain't banging put on, you know what I'm saying? In the streets. So, that's one mis misconception I be hearing about, like, oh, uh, everybody wasn't real. Everybody was real. Now, as far as, like, certain individuals saying how they, they killed this and killed that down. People say that all the time on, on record, so you, you can't go by by that, but, you know. But um, what else? Um, You know, people be saying everybody dead, and, you know, they say I'm dead, they say. You know, before my brother was dead, they said he was the dead, thing, you know. right? There's a curse. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and then, yeah, the curse thing. Everybody's talking about the curse. Well, it, really on Bang on Wax 1, nobody died except my brother 
um, and Nene, and they didn't die dur- uh, from no gang stuff. And even with um, AWOL, he didn't die from no gang stuff. There was some police stuff. So really nobody from Bang on Wax 1 died from any type of gang activity. Even Tweety Bird, you know, he passed from you no know, health complications, but nobody passed from no um, gang violence. Except, oh yeah, okay, um, uh, Full Clips. He, now he died from some gang violence, but you know, that was something. It had nothing to do with Bang on Wax. Now, when Bang on Wax 2 came around, now that was something different. Because, you know, like I told you before, Bang on Wax was supposed to be just us um, doing one album, and then we were supposed to do just a regular type of album, like a just a hip-hop album after that, individual groups. And then part two, we were supposed to bring the homies the next group, the next blood rappers up and let them get their sign in and they was going to do the same thing with them. But it never happened like that. So that's why, you know, you had groups like, well, they they did eventually sign, um, they signed Big Y and Bolo in Little Stretch mm-hmm. with their group of relatives, which they had us on there. They feast us on the song. But other than that, they didn't sign nobody else. They signed Nene. I think they signed Nene and did an album on her. But at that time, the momentum was kind of gone. And uh, who else they signed? And they... So, okay, Green Eyes got signed, but Green Eyes got signed by the owner of the... the um, Leon Haywood, who did the um, that song, Freaky, Freaky, whatever. You know the song that yeah. they took... Uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So he ended up signing Green Eyes. And... Uh, yeah, so that's all basically who got signed. It wasn't really no no deals came out of that. It wasn't, you know, then deal. You know, like like I said, Bang on Wax two. That's when people started getting killed. But I don't think it was because of Bang on Wax. They was out there really, like I said, they was out there really gang banging. It was a lot of street shit going on. It was like the gang banging was at its height at that time. You know what I'm saying? It was just people was just getting caught up in in some messed up circumstances. You know, we were still out there gang banging and just, just being careful and just, you know what I'm saying, by the grace of God, you know what I'm saying, we made it through it. And, you know, just people was getting caught, you know. There wasn't there wasn't no dudes that just say they from where they from and then be in the house. Niggas that say they where they from on TV and still be outside. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, bad stuff is, is, is bound to happen, you know, when you're out in them streets. So that's, you know, that's basically what happened to them. There was no curse. I don't think it was a curse. You know, yeah. there's a lot of conspiracies that, around that album, especially the um, I've heard this one more than once. But the mm-hmm. the Bangin' on Wax album cover, the floor you guys are standing on is yeah, a checkered man, that was, Illuminati uh, type stuff. I'm like, people will pick them. I don't even believe it. <laughs> but, you know, and I looked at that when, when they said that. But it, like I said, who died from who died from gang violence on that album? Nobody. So it just happened. A man had a checkered floor. Like that whole album cover was. They didn't know what they was. They didn't know. They did. They couldn't figure out what they was gonna do for an album cover. So this is what they told us to do. They said spray paint a line in the wall. Spray paint a line in the wall. And we this is and this is inside the studio. We spray painted a line in down the wall. They said y'all hit up y'all what y'all want to on y'all side. They hit up what they want to on, on our side. No, no, no. My brother, Neil, Bolo, Stress, they couldn't hit up. So they gave me this, the can. I hit up everything. Boom, boom, boom. Struck up, struck up, struck up, struck up. They struck up their side. Boom, boom, boom. So they was like, okay, y'all stand on y'all side. They stand on their side. And they told us to burn the flag. Like, no, 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 no. I think somebody came up with that. Like, we should burn the flag or whatever. We like, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. We like, man, like, no, 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 no. They like, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we like, man. We was hot, but we was like, man, whatever. You know, so they did theirs, and we did, we burnt theirs, they burnt ours. It was like, you know what I'm saying? It was just, it was stupid. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So that's how that, that whole little album cover came came about. It wasn't like they was like, oh, you should do it in front of the, the, checker, the checkerboards. And then, no, nah, it, was, it was a floor, and it was a wall. They said, right on the wall, take a picture in the front of it. And that's yeah. how that came about. So, yeah. Anything else you hear, let me know. I'll I, I just spread it all that crap. <laughs> man, I appreciate you your know. candidness. I appreciate your story. And <laughs> I definitely appreciate you coming on the show, man. It's been a pleasure talking with yeah. you. And um, any last words? Anyone you want to give a shout out to, man? The floor is yours. 
Yeah, shout out to the whole Inglewood, you know what I'm saying, especially the avenues, you know. Shout out to my guys, you know, across the, across the land. And, um, you know, just want to say, you know, um, I'll be looking for some music coming from me soon. I'm, I'm eventually going to do some um, some unreleased Red Rum stuff, but, you know, I got people who, you know, have his projects, but they ain't coming through doing what they say they're going to do. So, you know, eventually I'll get it or somehow I'll have to figure out a way to get it. But, mm. you know, I'll be coming with some, 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 some more music for y'all and, you know, oh, that's gonna just be dope. stay tuned. And, you know, I'm producing now, so I got tracks, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just what? get at me on. Yeah. So oh, drop your Instagram, yeah, man. Drop anything. dog. Yeah. So basically I'm really in my beginning stages. Well, I've been, been in it for like a, almost a year now. I, I got, I got a lot of tracks. I got a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Help from a lot of producers who've been messing with me and showing me the way. And, you know, I took a, a class for six months and learned the MPC and learned, you know, saying the, um, the DAWs and everything. So I'm producing and recording, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, any, any new artists out there, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get their little shine in, you know, I'm willing to help out, you know, so just get at me and my stuff ain't really together on my social medias yet, but y'all still can hit me on social, on, uh, at solid from day one on uh, Instagram or leaked beats on, um, Instagram and my YouTube channel ain't really together yet. I'm gonna get all that eventually, but I'm, I'm just steady working and trying to be behind, behind the scenes on production and trying to give y'all something that y'all been missing. Yeah. So y'all be looking out for it. Let me know if you need help with the YouTube channel, man. I'll gladly set an hour aside to, you know, help you uh, you know, get get things started. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Also I got a group, mature content. We're gonna be dropping something soon too and let y'all hear uh some 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 fire music, you know, some mature music. You know, I don't do the type of the hood stuff no more. You know, I got hood stories, but I don't do the gangbang stuff no more. So you know, I'm very wise in my age now and i talk about things that need to be talked about not all that riffraff that y'all here in the street so it's for a mature audience it ain't for the for the youngsters popping pills and 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 sipping lean you know mm, thank so, you thank you for stay doing tuned. That. Really <laughs> thank you so much leak it's been a pleasure man i'm gonna drop this uh in a few days and i'll send you the link all right all right thank you appreciate it man thank you too man i'll talk to you soon all right all right peace man you.